Okay, you see this? Okay, this was made from a recycled tire, okay? And I got this out from this, okay? I'm Sunday you earlier and I will be showing you how I make this cock so somewhere from a recycled tire. That's what I'm gonna be showing you and it's quite easy. There's always a ring all around the edges which you sense to be a metal ring coated with rubber. So what you need is that you need an art saw to cut that out. And at the time you were able to eliminate oh, that and cut that out, you need the side base. The side base of the tire is the only part of the tire that comes in a rubber, 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 rubber. The base of the tire comes with an iron springs all around. So iron spring will not be so easy for you to cut. And even when you struggle to cut it out, knitting the edge around like this might not be so easy. So what you need is just the side base of it as I've cut it out. So at the time you cut the tire out, then it now needs to go to the craft itself. Go so moving to the craft itself, a pattern of the base of the cock saw needs to be cut out before and so once you cut the part of the base of the cock saw out you then use the base of the cock saw, the pattern to cut out the I then use it to cut out the, the, the tire, cutting it out as a very careful uh, because uh, you need a very sharp uh, knife to do that. And using the sharp knife, you have to be very careful the way you handle it for you not to get yourself caught. Okay, moving that, I then move it up, uh, I, I cut it out, move it to the bench grinder. What I did in the bench grinder was to brush in the surface to get the surface ready for gum to pick up. It's just to pick up and to have the a smooth edge around. Yes, we work with a recycle project, but that's why we work with a recycle project the recycle project need to be very very neat and very very appealing at the first sight so getting it appealing I use the bench grinder to do a finishing touch around the edge finishing touch and I then come to this point of forming it to shape and size Remember the project was a recycled tire and using a, 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 a used leather bed stripes to make this project out. So I am using a used leather bed stripes. This is a leather bed stripes that I've used and I stopped using again. Um, um, so I picked it up from my wardrobe and decided to use it for this stripe. So this, the length of the stripes is uh, 40 inches and 40 inches and I disconnected it to four. The four gives me 10 each per stripe. So these two stripes limits me to the design. The only design I can do with it is just a basic cross. That is it. So It's a recycled project, so in total we have 10 inches. If you're making a bigger size, you need to get a big longer stripe to get this. So I cut it and now I get this lasting it, getting it to size. Form it, you need a part, this particular tool, this particular tool is the shoe mode. And if you don't have a shoe mode, I'm doing it because I'm, I did this in the workshop in the Lagos, Nigeria. But at the time you don't have a shoe mode, you can get to use your foot to test it, to set it if it is fitting or not. The way you want it to fit on you, that's that you need to adjust it with the shoe mode. At the time you adjust it with the shoe mode, then we are gradually moving to the point at which we need to cement the already cut out tire base and our upper uh, so we want to cement it all around together picking your cementing glue you have to be very very careful with that a chloroprene cementing glue is most advised for this kind of project the reason is that your ecoxo comes with a bit of rubber and a bit of uh, fabric wool in it and then your tire is a, or a rubber thing that cannot really goes with the chemical gum so a chloroprene gum is best used for this project so I use a chloroprene gum to bound this project together so I apply it and
Bonding together, I have to be very careful. As I said, it's a recycle project, but the outcome must be appealing. So I look out through the edges, make sure I start bonding up from the way back, bounce through the edges, and then timing the, the next is to then mount pressure on it for it to completely locked up. The reason here, yeah, I need to mount pressure on it so it can completely locked up. Once I locked it up, I'm done with this. I'm so sure you're able to get something from this. Remember, this was made from a recycled tire and this was made, the only thing where I got in here that I bought was just the cork sole. The cork sole is only what I will get bought in here. The other two was a recycled tire. I got, went to open my wardrobe to get a used belt, a belt I don't use again, and I got called the stripe to make these stripes, make this summer wear. So once uh, I use the stripes, I use the tire, and it's good to go. I'm so sure you definitely like what you're saying. If you like what you're saying, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and when you, when you to click on your notification bell for you to be notified when I have awesome video like this again on my platform. I'd like you to connect to me on my Instagram page as you see scrolls on the screen. Look forward to have you in my subsequent upload.